Alright, so you may have noticed that for the past uh, weekish worth of videos, Rex has been absent. And there's been very specific reason for that. I convinced Rex to tell you that reason in person and give his announcement on camera. Are you, are you ready, Rex? Oh. Oh, look, what do you got there, buddy? Oh, shh. Sorry. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. What do you got? Got a new addition to the family. A new addition? Yeah. I, I'm afraid to look. How dare you? A little peek? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Depends. He's sleeping. He's sleeping? Okay. Oh, he's so cute! He's... Oh. 256 ounces. 256? Wow! Let me get this. Holy crap! Did you get the epidural? <laughs> Two gallons. Wow! Fully loaded. Okay. He's coming in at about 16 pounds. <laughs> so you had to have back support and a full child carrier. It's a Bjorn! You don't have a Bjorn? I haven't seen a Bjorn. I guess I haven't seen a Bjorn in uh, eight years. I forgot what they looked like. I think it was an Ergo baby. No, oh, okay. Those who know, know. Close enough. Okay. That thing so, is huge. It Wait, is, it is customary. Let me hold this for a good, uh, for a good scale of like. This is how Lord of the Rings was filmed. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have a normal flask and I hand you that. Yeah. <laughs> the, it, it is customary whenever there's a new addition to the family that yes. drinks are poured. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, we'll start with this one that we were going to review today. How about that? You're going to need more bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. We're doing two gifts. From Becca Truly Stewart, there's one, there's the other. Becca Truly Stewart, you are magnificent! Bastard! Fight! So let's start with the new make. These... So this turns into this. In theory. Okay. This is one of those stories where there's not a lot of information. Okay. And when you go to their website, there's no about us, there's no clarity on what's happening. Sure. And uh, they're a winery. Oh, okay. And if you click the distillery part of the website, it just simply says, we have one. You should come visit it here at the hours. So, and that's it. The, right out of the gate, the thing that is probably uh, just a little momentary hesitation, a little, 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 little dollop of concern there is whenever somebody doesn't focus on whiskey. Yeah. And if, if it really is just an afterthought, then you can often taste it being just an afterthought, a thing that was on the sidelines that's not getting their full attention. On the nose, though. Now, this I'm is not Alabama. Too, I'm not too concerned. On the nose, this is pretty nice. All I'm going to say about Alabama is they've got some moonshine history in <laughs> Alabama. So they can moonshine. They might be fine, but they the can moonshine. Shine up the moon. Now, I will tell you that the back of the bottle just says uh, produced by, and that's right. the only information that we have. Right. So I'm not even certain that they're making it, but it would be nice if they were. So, but just the moonshine. Okay. Really calm, 40% corn whiskey. Yes, yeah, sweet. And I think it's a psychosomatic because you said wine. It made me think of white wine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there's I have a never bit considered a... moonshine in a white wine category, but. Well, this particularly, because there's not any kind of like <laughs> grainy funk. Right. Um, there's not uh, any kind of, you know, sour bit that could develop into something mm -hmm. really interesting in a whiskey. Yeah, I could see people. Wow, that's just candy corn. People with a palate for wine, I could see them dialing in something like this. Yeah, take a sip of that. That's just sugar. It tastes like simple syrup. Yeah. Like sugar water. Yeah. I, I'm, I can't even taste the grain. Yeah, it really does. That's bizarre. And it got, Are we sure it's not sugar water? <laughs> corn whiskey. Okay. Yeah, categorized as small batch, gluten free. Yeah, the irony is every bottle that doesn't have additive coloring and flavoring is gluten free. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Any whiskey in the world, the stuff that that the gluten but probably stuff is removed during distillation. But our whiskey, I've researched this, is the only whiskey on earth that's vegan friendly. Vegan friendly. Yes. Why? There's no meat in our whiskey. That's true. Yeah, I think we're the only ones. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you're welcome. So, <laughs> do you ever have the impossible? Have you still, you still never had the, the Impossible Burger? No, no. I I went to the place to go get one, and they said we are temporarily out. Evidently, there's a shortage of Impossible Burger. They're, meat. they're phenomenal. 
Mm. In terms of substitute burger meat, look, we're, neither one of us are vegans. We love meat. Mm -hmm. But I've always been kind of curious whenever you don't want the, the, the meat sweats, the meat coma. And I bought the frozen is patty there, ones. Is there an amazing substitute? And the first time I had an Impossible Burger was at, gosh, Cheesecake Factory, which I oh. never go to. Yeah, there's one in the mall. We yeah. went to the other which day I because we got it. stuck there for that school That was the stuff. one. Yeah, yeah, I was stuck there for something. And oh my gosh. Okay, back, whiskey is a thing we're talking about. Okay, this is just sugar. So let's move on. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what you would put that in as a cocktail because it doesn't have any flavor other than sugar. Well, if you just needed simple syrup with a little bit of a little bit the good of the stuff. alcohol in it. <laughs> All right, so this is, they say, aged in oak for six months. That'd be pretty funny. If you designed cocktails around every ingredient having alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a Long Island iced tea. Right. Yeah. Oh, there's some nose. It's still very faint. It, so, but it it's the wood impact is there. Okay. It's baby. Okay. So, sweet and friendly is the name of the game. It's mm -hmm. very simple, and I'm thinking they have all of their time and attention dialing in the wines. Maybe I don't know the the whiskey. It's like we got some equipment. We got a corner for a still. Let's put some stuff through there. We got some space for barrels. This hasn't really matured or developed into anything complex or nuanced. Did you say how old this was? Six months. Six. Yeah. Well, I mean, hell, six months. Come on. It's not. And yeah, Alabama's pretty. It's got some heat there. This also tastes like sugar with a hint of whiskey with a hint of wood mm -hmm. oak. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing I wanted to compare it to. By the way, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm putting in my time. Right. Been here for 14, 15 years, plugging away on these videos. <laughs> and the moment... I've aged 14 or 15 moment, years. <laughs> I take a couple of days off. We've been going through... There's a streak of like... Jim Bob's generic whiskey that you could never find in a million years because there's like three bottles ever made. Yeah. Oh, like, like forever. We've been doing this. And then the moment... I peace out for a little bit. You got the Smoky Monkey. Oh, you got the Open 18. You got the Open 18. Nika 12. Nika 12. Dude, you know what's I funny? say this in the spirit of love. They were. I say this in the spirit of love. What the actual <laughs> <laughs> The irony is, those three were literally the next three in the donation order. <laughs> and now we're back to... Yeah, well... Craft-styled spirits. We got some other cool shit coming. All right. Okay, but Mellow Corn is the most cheap budget off the counter corn whiskey I can think that's of. Got a lot more interest that's got a lot more flavor than just the simple sweetness though. Do we have the middle? Yeah, right here. But when I come back to it, after drinking this, all I can think is, damn that mellow corn is really rich and flavorful <laughs> right. and amazing. That dusty corn. <laughs> that dusty corn. Yeah. You see what I mean? And then you get so if like you a cherry candy in there too. If you drank mellow corn thinking it was boring and sweet and plain you haven't tried yellow whiskey yet. <laughs> is that the... Ye yellow. Where does it say this? And yellow. Where? Right on top of the word whiskey. Oh, it does say here. Oh, yellow whiskey. It's because they aged it a little, so it's yellow so now. So now it's yellow. Oh. <laughs> it's very Alabama. They're embracing the Alabama. A little bit. This town is about 2,000 people. It's Calera, Alabama. Yeah. It's about 30 minutes south of Birmingham. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the yellow corn is different in the sense of... Seems to be about 75, 100% more density to actual flavors, not just generic sweetness like we said in yeah. corn. Um, then there is a, it's presenting right now this morning. Yeah. As a, like a cherry candy almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 50%. Yeah. Wow, 50%. That is, I'm just saying. It's a really easy sipper. I'm just saying. Maybe right. they should, uh, we should try their wine some point. <laughs> the, Although I have discovered something in the Midwest, which is in the Midwest, these wineries, like in Missouri yeah. and South, right, in the South. Right. These wineries specialize in unbelievably sugary sweet wine. Okay. And I went to a bunch of wineries in Missouri, and they all had wine icy machines. Oh, yeah. That's I've a weird thing in the South. I've heard of this. Yeah. Well, wine, basically... The wine that wineries make that they try is like, oh, this went in a bad direction. And they don't want to put their label and bottle it. Yeah. This, they don't want it to be representative of their brand. They put it in slushy machines. Yeah, slushy machines. Just it's to like, get rid of it. It's like having frozen margaritas. When something's that cold, it can yeah. be pretty bad because you dump it. Well, and you mix ice, sugar and, sugar, and, yeah, and you bury it. Fine slushy. I'm going to stick with the uh, mellow corn for I the rest I of this the... sip. Do you have no, the... I, it's right here. Son of a... You did take you it. You want the mellow corn too? 
Give me the melon. Yeah, you want the melacorn. Okay. Uh, Guys, Brian. I just want you to realize what just happened just now. <laughs> we just fought over who got the mellow corn. <laughs> that should tell you everything you need to know. So it's not... It's not bad! It's just so simple and boring. Yeah, it's just like drinking sugar and neither of us are dessert people. Uh, Brian Ezel actually saw a study last year on germs, bacteria, and alcohol. Out of all forms of booze we can consume, the study showed only whiskey would kill all the bacteria. Yes. That was studying what was in ice cubes, what was on ice cubes. Yeah, yeah. I have to believe the same holds true for bugs, so fish those pests out and drink that whiskey. Yeah, and I would have to say... Bugs or mooches. Bugs or mooches, yeah. Uh, Brad LeClaire, random bit of info that might come in handy for a <gasps> flask armor episode. So he was watching the live stream. Yeah, yeah. Brushwood has a suit of actual armor, just saying. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But we also have some base armor out here around the corner. I had him reach out to uh, Punished Props. Yes, good! Yes. Yes! To see if they'd be interested in putting together a suit of armor made out of nothing but different sized whiskey flasks. Done. So we'll see. I'll bet that sounds like something they would find Maybe. really entertaining. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll yeah. find out. This was... This, this corn is always, corn a, is always a little bit better than you expect. It's a good breakfast whiskey. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.